everyone. Hello. Sorry, things weren't quite working the way we wanted with the cameras. We got a good test this morning, or this afternoon. And now uh, it's not working properly, so the app is not cooperating. It's technology, it happens. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Put myself in here. I hope everybody had a great holiday weekend. I did. It was my birthday. It was nice. So comment and tell us how your holiday went. We have some announcements to make, but we'll wait for everybody to jump on. Be sure and say hello. We have a really great giveaway. Compliments of our uh, motor wrap, if that gives you a clue. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Diane. Hi, Carol. Cool. Somebody else said it. happy birthday to you. Hi, Veronica. How are you? Hopefully you didn't get any hurricane stuff down there too bad. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Tom, let us know if you've done any quilts on your uh, new setup. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jody. I gotta fix my cameras here guys just a minute Since the app wasn't working properly well it's sure the app's working properly it's something I did we had a great test earlier so yep I had some people on saw the chats saw everything we needed to see yeah but anyway moving on exactly that's all you can do right Keep things rolling. All right, Joan, so who are we? We are, we're at Quilters HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and so, uh, I'm sorry, QHQ, the number two, .com. We do this every Tuesday from six to seven central and we have a giveaway in order to get entered for the giveaway you have to comment say something give us a thumbs up something fun no thumbs down no frowny faces nothing like that you can save those for somebody else still practicing uh tom said he's still practicing but uh going good 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 yeah. good awesome so, announcements. We have a new event. This is going to be at Windmill Sewing Center. It is a three-day event, October 7th, 8th, and 9th. It's going to be on the new Luminaire. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. Um, a lot, a lot of fun. It's three days, so there's one day on Luminaire. There's one day on quilting with the embroidery portion of the Luminaire. And then the third day is the Scan and Cut. So you can sign up for any or some of those days. This is a sales event. If you already have a Luminaire, this is probably not something you want to attend. Um, if you're thinking about an embroidery machine or a sewing machine that does embroidery, this is the event for you. So it is not on the website yet. It is going to be um, $150 for the three days and then what did we say if you only wanted to do like one day yeah if you only want to come to the scan and cut that's on saturday it's like four hours uh -huh. so um the luminaire event i think there's maybe eight seats total right the first day yep um, and then the next day will be uh, more of an invitation type situation so yep and i know there are like four people already on a waiting list so as um, soon as that comes out, you can give the store a call, um, talk to Dana. Nope, Dana's out this week, right? She's on no, vacation. She's, she is here? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's Surge 1. This is going to be a very popular class. So, um, as a follow-up to the Bernina Surger event, this goes for eight we weeks. No, Bring your own Surger. Um, build on your knowledge and become an expert for your serger. Fast amount of creativity, build your sewing skills, new techniques, feet, 
all kinds of fun stuff. That is 120. I think that one is already on the website. We've already got a couple of signups for that. So mm -hmm. don't wait because it's all of these are limited seating. Um, beginning quilting is tomorrow, and that's here. We still have room. That's going to be a fabulous class. So if you know somebody that's a beginning quilter and they want to learn some new skills, like, you know, pretty basic, this would be a good class for them. And then we have September 3rd and 15th is the September Kimberbell group at Windmill. And I saw that. That is such a cute, cute, cute project. It's a little mug rug. Hey, Alice. Hi, Dorothy. Um, the Brothers Store is doing the Twilight Boulevard Machine Embroidery Bench Pillow. So check the website for that. And then they're also, we don't have any of the, the um, kits yet. Um, they're doing the Kimberbell Candy Cane Lane Bench Pillow. Those things are so fun. If you haven't seen them in person, just go to the store and check them out. I mean, we have, I have had people tell me they bought a bench for their house to display their bench pillow. <laughs> yeah, everybody, yeah. So, um, good reason cost, to buy a bench. Yeah, I know, right? Um, $108 for each of those classes. So, the Boulevard, Twilight Boulevard is 108 and the Candy Corn is 108 we are on week 40. Week 40, wow. 40, block 70. Can you believe we've done this 40 weeks? It just, yeah, you know. I know, it just seems like That's yesterday. like a pregnancy, it's 40 weeks. <laughs> okay. We're gonna give birth to a, an Amish quilt. Sampler. Amish quilt sampler. Um, this week's color is green sheen. This is like the coolest avocado. Love this color. I could use this in everything. Okay. It's a really cool color. It is a really cool color. And I, 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 you know, I want to see the pants. A pair of pants made out of the avocado. <laughs> I could pull that off. I think I couldn't. I no, could. I didn't think. I'll make them bell That'd bottoms. That'd be interesting, right? I'll make them bell bottoms and put like some big old panels in them. And <laughs> there you go. Some big sunglasses. Yep. This, okay. This sounds like a YouTube show. <laughs> hey, if Has I'm dressing everyone up everyone like, seen Joan's pants? <laughs> I'm just wearing leggings today, but this, this is a matte smoother. Where's my... What is a matte smoother? It, it's actually not intended for your AccuQuilt Go mats. And let me just say, this is not a AccuQuilt approved technique, method, item. Hi, Julie. Um, it does extend the life of your mat for a little bit. So if you get 100 cuts out of this, you might get 120 or 125 by smoothing out your mat. These are... It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Here. It's it is oh here it is twenty five ninety nine. I know some of you already have these. This actually came from an AccuQuilt educator, and she said this is not approved by AccuQuilt. An answer. But um, and so basically, you just smooth it. It's a stone on here, and it smooths all of those rough places out of your mat, so um, your mat's much smoother. It's also meant for your cutting mat to smooth out those grooves. Um, I haven't tried it long enough to know is it going to rub the markings off of my mat or not. Um, I know some of you have them, so if you can comment and let me know. I don't think it will, but it does do a really good job of smoothing those out. It's not going to smooth this out. I mean, we cut hundreds of yards of fabric, and so right at our one-yard mark, I mean, and our half yard mark you can see how much we wear these out pretty quickly and then we flip it over and use the other side so um, we do have a new mat and we have some new mats in here Robert's making faces at me he's doing this <laughs> so if I look confused 
It's because he's standing back there going. Well, I don't think it's really. It was more like. It was not that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it really was faces. So, we made our announcements. Um, color of the month. Oh, September. September. Nice. Okay. This is color number 6001. And I think the color name is Old Gold. This is a great color if you're quilting. This is one of, I'm doing a, a project right now. I'll probably have it done for you next week. It's the AccuQuilt Club project. And I quilted it in a gold color. So this, for doing your quilting, your top stitching, anything like that, this goes great on reds and greens, any kind of like Christmassy holiday color fabrics. Gold is going to bring out that real rich kind of holiday feeling when you quilt in a gold like this. I mean, it looks good on everything. Definitely so, on the black, yeah. Yeah, definitely on the black. I have another quilt that's black and kind of a metallic, and I'm going to use a gold color for that. More of a bronzy one than this. This is truly a gold. But don't go, ooh, yellow's my hate. I hate that color. Keep this in your toolbox because it's a it's a really good color to, to go to when you want to highlight something. Shall we get started? I think so. This is our block. I really like this block because um, it has this little pinwheel in the middle and it's framed by this kind of, what is that, a hexagon or an octagon? That's an octagon. So let's get started. If you don't have the pattern, you can go to the website and download it. If you yep. want to join along in the sew along, you can go download all the patterns and do them in your own fabrics if you want. So a lot of options there. We are using dies two. This is two and five from the nine inch cube. <coughs> the air conditioning, the allergies are just horrible oh, this no. year. I don't know if any of you have allergies. I'm sure everyone has different stuff but ragweed blooms <coughs> here and in September and it's so horrible my eyes swell up like balloons it's pretty bad right get now. a runny nose so always measure your dye even though you see me do this every single time I don't really memorize things that I can redo so I need four inches I know this is nine inch so I'm just gonna cut four and a half and just cut it in half pretty evenly I am kind of lining up with my salvage so that I get kind of a straight cut. We're going to be doing the finishing for this pretty soon. Yeah, so what's that process? Oh, we'll ha you'll have to wait and see. Oh, got to wait for the show. Yep, got to wait for the show. All right. So we need four of die number two. So I'm just going to fold these over. I'm folding up a little bit because I don't want to get my salvage in here as part of my quilt. Line it up. I've got my lines drawn on my die. And give us some suggestions of what you'd like to see next because we're wrapping this up. So what do you want to see next? Let us know. I know there was some paper piecing. Um, that was in one of the previous ones. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, what else was in there? Four of those. Back, I'll have Chloe go back through the comments for content for the show. And we're done with this. And then we need 12 of this one. So again, I'm just watching my salvage to make sure that that doesn't end up as part of my quilt and six layers can get you 12 pieces there are those and then we need 12 patches of the ebony 
So one recommendation was a Civil War quilt. Civil War quilt. You know, we did one that I designed as a block of the month here. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Hi, Jen. But it had embroidery in it. Um, you don't have to do embroidery. But that one was, ooh, that was, uh, that was quite a complicated quilt. And we did like four blocks. So is there something that you could do that's less, I mean, a little less complicated on the Civil War quilts, or are they always a little more intricate? They are a little more intricate, intricate, I can't say the word. They are a little more mm, detailed. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, they were all hand sewn, and there are piecing fudges that you can do in a hand sewn quilt that you can't really it's I mean, kind of hard to do on a sewing machine it's not impossible but you can you know so Hi, like the Jane Stickle so the one that is up over there that's embroidered that is a um, Civil War quilt, quilt and those are all four inch blocks they have like little tiny pieces like this big in that so maybe a um, Maybe we can find a reproduction quilt. Was that Nina? Because uh, I know she loves the reproduction fabric. Uh, Nina just hopped on, actually. Um, the color of the month. I don't know if she saw that. If you want to print that uh, or say that again. 6001. 6001, okay. And I think it's Old Gold is the name. I might be okay. wrong. We'll have to check the website. Yeah, so Nina said yes, yes, yes on the Civil War quilts. Um, we had another one for cathedral windows and some beginning serger projects. Beginning serger projects. Well, I did show you how to do that um, scrappy quilt on the serger. Um, um, Karen was asking if we carry the Madeira. Madeira, we do not. Sergers. We have it in Springfield, but I don't think we have it here. We have it in our Springfield store, but not here. We carry Maxi Lock here Hi, Susan. and Circor in Windmill. So all of these go together. So I'm just going to piece these really quick. And then I got out, um, give them a shot of this because, you know, we left. always, yeah, we always use the, um, the great big iron. Yeah. So if you haven't saw the miniature model, which is the lift. I have this at home and I'm telling you. Little red one there. And it is red, of course. What about uh, stretch threads? Okay. What type of stretch threads. Um, we have maxi lock stretch here. Okay. Um, we have Hi, the Joan. woolly stretch and just a regular stretch. So we have both. Uh, price, what were you thinking, Nina? What were you asking price on? Um, holiday. Just easy, Debbie, uh, maybe just easy gifts that we could make, that you can make, that are quick. Okay. Um, on the Civil War quilt, um, the Laura Star, what is the Laura Star on it? You know? uh, the price on it? Yeah. Six ninety nine. They had a price increase. Okay. I know. Everything's going up. Um, so, uh, somebody said... Uh, it's just uh, something historical, quilt wise, for the show. See what we can find. You know, I did a very, it's not really a cathedral windows, and, and then I saw it somewhere else too. Um, one similar. I take inspiration, so I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily make a quilt that I see in the pattern. I'll take the, the pattern as inspiration and then make it my own. And sometimes, you know, you see a block layout that's just really interesting, and you're like, well, how can I modify that to make it mine? And so I do that. Um, Nina said maybe something with just uh, rulers, how to sew with rulers. Okay. That's a good one. That's a pretty popular, too. Yeah, that would be a good one. I can show you. You know what? We should just do an online ruler class. So, Ooh, like... All those, now don't get me wrong, because I sell specialty rulers too, and they have their place in your sewing room, 
but you would be surprised what you can cut out with just this. Do you think you could cut hexes with this? Okay. Yes, you can. So would that be you know, online ruler? What were you thinking? Like a just a demo. Okay. How to do cutting? Because you know they have all of these lines on them, but you know the really the only thing we we mostly use it for is just the straight edge but they have 30 degree, 45 degree, uh, 60 degree angles on here and you can do all kinds of stuff with those angles. Okay, Debbie liked the ruler idea. Um, another one was, uh, how about Kansas City Star Quilt? Okay, I'm feeling that. Okay. Uh, oh, is it a little blurry? Let me see. Uh, easy echo top quilting, like a panel fabric. Okay. Um, I think the lift should be on the website, yes. Um, Chloe or um, Carrie, maybe you can post a link to that. Okay, we got another vote for the ruler idea. That one's way out ahead, ahead here. Yeah. There's just, a, there's diamonds. And then like piecing your strips together and then cutting diamonds out with your ruler. Ton of stuff that you can do with your ruler. Um, they do spell like um, Creative Grids sells a lot of rulers that are specialty, and some of them you can't do with your ruler. You do need their ruler to do it, but some of them, like the hexes, you can cut your own hexes, like for grandmother's flower garden. All right, I want to jump over here because I have so many of these, and my iron is still hot. And we're going to press towards the dark side. Hi, Judy, how are you? Little uh, Star Wars reference there. <laughs> well, <laughs> Kansas City Star would be fun, someone said. Yeah. Maybe, we, do you have any Civil War quilts? Do I? Mm hmm. Well, I have the Jane Stickle, but it's all embroidered. Mm -hmm. And then I have the one that I designed. It's based on, oh, it's it's a quilt that's in the uh, museum in um, Australia, in Sydney. And I saw this little tiny picture of it, and so I was like, oh, I want to make that. But I didn't include all of the stuff that um, this the original quilter had. I took the inspiration and then made it my own. We did it as a block of the month. If Kate McCabe is on there, she did it. Maybe she can post a picture of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hot, hot, hot. It's like hot potato. And they're Ooh. saying they're having a little hard time hearing you on the YouTube side, and it's a little bit blurry. I don't know why. I don't want to stop it. It's kind so. of at an angle in there. Um, it actually is a little bit grainy. I don't know if it, that's the way it started or not. So, Okay, so this one, you guys are going to have to help me out here. All right, here we got to keep her honest here. Oh, my gosh. I'm just trying to get the pinwheel set. Uh, I think they posted a link for it, Carrie, or um, mm -hmm. Karen. I think Carrie posted a link. I don't know if it was on that side or if Chloe posted a link. So, hi Cindy, how are you tonight? It is a great iron. So, I love it, and you know I use it to um, refresh my little sweaters that I practically live in all of the time. Yeah, sorry guys, we'll get the cameras figured out, so um, we're just going to have to change apps, so we may have to go back to our uh, uh, 
a different one. Yeah, to our other streaming app so that we can get both of these together. I mean, that's the challenge. So. And um, to be able to see all of your chats because so we want to be able to interact. not on the website. Nope. All right. Well, we'll um, get that out there. Can everybody see the pinwheel? I'm just going to give this a quick look. Yeah, $6.99. Yep. It is $6.99. They had the price increase. Nothing we can do about that. I'm going to piece this in rows, one block at a time, because I think I have a high likelihood of messing this up so two at a time and hopefully I sew down the right sides but I think we're on all right they're saying it looks good okay. I think it looks good yeah need my doohickey oh did you notice the little sign on the sewing machine Make a wish. <laughs> I wish that once you hit 50, your birthday started going in reverse. Who was the, the like Benjamin button? All right, they said to change it to 720 on your YouTube and the, the quality got better. The sound was good. Okay. So, Joan, on your YouTube, will you change it to 720? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Wiley said happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Uh, Nina said that means I'm 75. I think that's the way it should work. Hello from Canada. Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. Welcome. If you're just joining us, we're doing the block of the week. This is week 40. Week um, 40. Two yep. more blocks after this. And you can download those patterns from our website, quiltershq.com. Free pattern. Do in your fabrics, whatever you like. Um, it's Joan's remake of her uh, Amish sampler. It is. One I did a long, long time, ago. time ago. This one's better. <laughs> so many things i did not know about buying fabric so i just bought you know and i'm not saying this is wrong because somebody gave me really good advice once and it was buy the best fabric that you can afford so i was buying all discounted fabrics but i didn't really know that there was a difference between not between there is a difference in fabrics that you get in your quilt shop. Did I already just mess this up? As you were talking? We're still good. Do you want me to get the electric seam rubber? <laughs> <laughs> we're still good. If you if you do like the videos, be sure and like and share so that we can continue to make these productions and come up with new content. Um, sometimes that is a lot of work. Hey, they all think you're 50, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, the machine next to you, do you find it quicker to cut blocks out with that or use the ruler instead? So you're talking about the AccuQuilt? Oh my gosh. She's a huge AccuQuilt fan, so. That's an easy question <laughs> yeah. to answer. If I had to rotary cut this, we'd still be here rotary cutting. And it took me, I don't know, what do you think? Like two minutes to cut this out? Something like that, yeah. nesting my seams here. You know, that is one of the things about this machine. 
that I don't think I've really talked about, and that is that this sewing machine has, um, and it's Juki in general. Oops, I got a scene that don't line up great. It's going to stay. Um, so, Juki, I'm going to go the other way with that. Um, with this 2010 and the TL2020, the foot, the presser foot, is really curved up in the front. So, it's really easy to go over the seams. Hi, Polly. When your seam is pointing towards the back, your open seam, and makes it really easy to piece. Doing good so far. Yep, still going well. Hang in there with me. So, is there another block? Still have a few more blocks to two do. Two more blocks to two do. Two more blocks. So 42 weeks, two more blocks to go on this one. And then we're going to do sashing, and I'm going to show you a super, super easy way to cut your sashing and your cornerstones. So are you going to do, so after this project, you're going to do another sew along? You got an idea? Well, that's what I was hoping to get ideas from all of you. Okay. What would you like to see? <laughs> and Nina said, your name is Leadfoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Polly, yeah, we did get your pictures. I think uh, Chloe's going to put in the catalog, so we should have got everything. Yeah. We're still working on some newsletter. content, I think, for the catalog. Newsletter. It's going to be in oh, the, newsletter. the newsletter. Oh, newsletter. Okay, sorry. Yep. Which should have went out. I think it did. Patriotic quilt. Okay. Oh, I have one of those. My design. So Peggy says she thought you were doing the Christmas one. That's for the AccuQuilt Go Club. So that will be on YouTube. And you can follow along if you want. That meets once a month on the third Thursday. For quick gift ideas, I think quick quick gift ideas is going to be a, a hit this I think year. So. I think this year is kind of about that. Oh, my pinwheel is going to look pretty good. I've got a little mm, smudge right there, but you know what I'm going to do? Maybe you know what I'm going to do. Press I'm going to take a sharpie and color that. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Did they make a pencil wheel? A pencil wheel. Yeah, hey, you said you got a pen wheel. The pen wheel's working. Yeah. Did they make a pencil wheel? Um, I think you're gonna have to Google that. <laughs> Hi Miranda, how are you tonight? Hi Harvey, how are you tonight, sir? If you're just joining us, this is week 40 of the block of the week couple more blocks to do and then we're going to start another project mm -hmm. download them on the website quiltofhq.com yep and people did ask for a printed pattern so we will be taking this to the printer and having it printer printed there will be a fee for it because printers paper. love yeah <laughs> paper paper cost so but you know some people just don't really do well off of you know have a good printer at their home final stretch this way. and then we're gonna iron it and then I got something new to show you and something not quite so new to show you, but it's still cool. There go the allergies. I know, I was sneezing earlier. Hi yeah. Lori, how are you? Everybody moved to the desert because, you know, there's no plant life, but then they all planted stuff. 
<laughs> so now people that exited to the desert to get away from all of the allergens are still suffering. You know, my granddad always had hay fever, and I always thought that I would outgrow it, but that just has not seemed to happen. Nope. Uh, hi, Stephanie. Uh, now that's a uh, that's called the doohickey. It is for pressing seams. You can some other things. Joan can demo there. Mhm. Mm so they're like nine bucks, nine ninety nine or something. Seven ninety nine. Ninety nine. Yeah. This flat side that you can use to press your seams if you're. Uh, dressmaker, you can use this edge to use your carbon paper and mark around seams. It's a stylus, so you can use it to push your fabric through the printer, or the printer. <laughs> your sewing printer. machine, you know, the thing with the needle that goes up and down. Um, yeah. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that. <laughs> so, really handy. You can use it to press your seams open to, to divide like this and then press such a multifunctional tool it, it has a horrible name it is the multi-function finger presser tool also known as the doohickey so if you want one of these comment make it mine doohickey and let us know whether you want to ship it or pick it up and we will get one for you Mary said she's out in the, the smoke moderate smoke area there so Hopefully that will subside very soon for you out there. Yeah, it's some of that Colorado, Tahoe area. All right. Okay. There what we, we got go. Here? I got two little seams that I'm. I am seriously. I'm not kidding. I will just go in with a fine point sharpie oh. and color that. See right there right there where my seam doesn't meet up perfectly take a black sharpie just kind of round that off there heat set it no one will ever know except us and i'm not telling so that's one of my nobody I use else it, is either so. i use it all the time in embroidery so sometimes when you're doing embroidery that bobbin thread so like if you're sewing with um like on say a red fabric and you're sewing with a blue thread and then all of a sudden you see these little pops of white coming up you take your fine point sharpie pencil and just color that bobbin thread no need to pick all of that stuff out just sharpie that barbara said happy birthday from ohio oh, thank so, you yeah. so. we should tell them about the sale well what are you gonna do what, what's your what's your special birthday present for the viewers well so you enjoyed the fabric sale so much last time we're doing it again it'll be 30 percent off of fabric yardage more than one yard so we'll have to get you a code and um chloe could probably put that in and post it yeah you just heard our staff go oh, oh somebody's so scrambling like, around for a code yeah. <laughs> To use online. And that will so, run oh, through Saturday, right? So, yes. So, this is week 40, block 7D. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, they'll be able to use the code online yep. as well and online get their discount. Well. Get their discount. So, and then I think we have some fun type of fabric sales we're going to be doing coming up. So, stay oh, tuned. Yes. Yeah, it's actually, um, everybody will have to say thank you to Tom because he was the one that, you know, planted the bug in my ear to say, hey, you should do this. And I said, <laughs> you know what, you're right, we should. So thank you, Tom. Um, so I've got some. These are not new, but they're very, very popular. And so I wanted to show these to you. So, um, and you get your discount. It's QHQACC is the code for these. This is the, um, is there a spider web? No, nah, there was like a bee or a gnat or something. <laughs> He's chasing me. <laughs> we need cameras pointing in two directions. That's what I've determined. We need a split screen. <laughs> 
because he's like <laughs> going like this mm -hmm. and I'm like <laughs> hi Nancy how are you <laughs> it's a little bit distracting but that's okay um, this is a snail's trail this was a what is this I think it's a nine inch block eight inch block eight inch finished block this goes this has so many uses and um, I like the block on board so you don't really have to do the snail trail here let me flip it over and you can see the back of it so you might come closer for this one so if you cut this block off right here right then you've got a square and a square that you could cut out super quick and super easy so when you're looking at these dies always be looking at what else can I make with this besides the snail's trail so you have your four patch in the middle you could do a square and a square or you could do a square and a square and a square or even further so that's all that the snail's trail is but they have it lined out where you know you can cut one of your fabrics here one of your fabrics here one of your fabrics here and make all of these different um, um, designs. I love this size of die because it works great with layer cakes. So okay. you just layer layer cake over it and then you can organize this, get a really scrappy um, snail's trail. So that's one. This is another one. So let me show you the back of it Look, so you can see the, the quilt. So this looks like it has all of these curved pieces in it. It doesn't. They're all just straight pieces. These are all just triangles. So another use for this would be for a border on a quilt. You could do a triangle border with this. Super, super easy. So I guess I should tell you what. The Snail's Trail is $79.99, less the discount that you get by using that code. This one is $89.99, less the discount you get by using the code. This is a beautiful quilt. I've actually seen it where they took like all of these different colors and laid it out like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it, it is squares, so you're not piecing on these curves. So, but it looks like you are. This one is curves. This is the Mariner's Comfort. This one is $129.99. And so with that code, you're going to save more than $25 on this. This is a beautiful block, easy to make. Um, kind of, I don't know, can you see the little tick marks? So if any of you have ever made clothing patterns, you know when you're, you're doing your piecing and you're cutting out, they actually put these little tick marks that come out on the pattern itself like this, like this. AccuQuilt does that with their curved piece dies so that you can line these up with those tick marks. It makes your piecing super accurate for this. So this is another one. Absolutely great die. This has got to be a must have for you because you can do just one block and it even gives you the piecing instructions down here. What was the name of the second die? This one is Morning Star. Morning Star, Linda. Morning Star. So, not just this block, but keep in mind you could piece a border out of this. Super easy. And then, there's two new dies. Oh my gosh. I made one of these. This is a feathered Hi. star. Hi, Danita. So this is a pre-order. You can only pre-order these. We're not allowed to actually ship these to you until September 14th, but we have them in the store in stock. They're $129.99. You still get your discount off of those. And I made a feathered star once, like a lot, and it was exactly this one too. The same feathered star. And I vowed I would never make another one because <laughs> it was a lot of little bitty pieces. 
that I had to rotary cut and then you know piece in here but guess what I'm gonna be making <laughs> feathered star oh this is a gorgeous gorgeous quilt when it's sewn out where you hold it stand up yep they've done several com color combinations on this one so if you order this one know that it will not be delivered to you it will not be available to pick up until after on well on September 14th that's the if, launch date that's the launch date if you ordered it if you order it now and we do have these in the store you know like six of them or seven of them and I think six if you order it now we'll put your name on it and deliver it to you on the 14th so comment make it mine feathered star and you get one of those. There is another one that I think you're gonna want this one too. This is, they call it a weather vane. This is a beautiful block. I love the quilt that they have on the back for the, um, this one is $89.99. Again, you get your discount on this, QHQ, ACC. But you've gotta get a close up here. I'm just gonna flip it right over. So get a close-up of this with these like sherbet colors in, in the line. This is gorgeous. Yeah, that's cool. Super cool. The other thing that you can see on here is... Sorry, somebody asked a question here for you. Okay. Let's see. They probably oh, what would... size is this one? This one? Yeah. This makes an 8-inch finished block. This is a 16 inch finished block. This one is a 12 inch finished block. And the Mariner's Compass is also a 12 inch finished block. I think this this is gonna be extremely, extremely popular. Yeah, they were just commenting on the weather vane blocks. So. Yeah, and, and the even the colorway that they chose here, I don't know if you can see it real close up here, but the okay. colorway that they, they show here, that's just a beautiful color combination. And then the other thing that I like about AccuQuilt is they actually show you how it's laid out. So um, we'll have to do a demo yeah, on a block a on board. There's a layer on that. I can't really see where you're okay. at, so. Better? Uh, yeah, it's better. So they have, now I'm doing this blind, so um, they have like the layout of the actual die. And so we'll need to do a demo on how you use a block on board because you're still you're just using strips so you have this this section right here though all of the little D space the D blocks so you actually cut a strip big enough to cover that portion of your die and then just fan fold across that one so you're not laying your fabric like this on the die you're laying it like right here so Polly asked, uh, can you use the eight cube for the feather star? Mm, like for an offset block? These pieces are not in the feathered star, in the eight inch cube. So where's the picture of the die? So it's right here. So it's these little tiny, um, half diamonds right here is what I'm talking about okay. so um, no thanks Nina have a good night some of the dies you can so like you can make a churn dash with your 8 inch cube but this one um, this is just the block so this makes a 12 inch block this is beautiful um, it's actually around the corner, but I don't think we can go over there and see it. But maybe next time we'll have it down. It's kind of high up. We have to get the ladder out to pull it down. Oh. It was a one block wonder. <laughs> I made one block and I'm like, mm, I wonder. <laughs> no, we're not doing another one. But I put so much effort into this one block that I just put a border around it and said, this is a wall hanging and I'm done. I'm never going to make another one. But... Now you can do it with AccuQuilt. Now I can do it with AccuQuilt. You know I'm going to make a quilt out of this. This is such, I mean, I can't describe how beautiful this block turns out when, um, I prefer it with the light background, like this one, so that you actually see all of the colors. 
Okay. So that's those. Giveaway. We need our uh, giveaway. Where did I put yeah. the giveaway? Okay. We do have a giveaway. Compliments of the motor rep. This is Sister Bay. We I don't think we have this in the store. Um, this was just so we're not we're just gonna do one winner. Um, beautiful kind of reproduction fabrics. So blue. What we should do is it the, are they the same? They're ships. Yeah. Well, why we we should do one on Facebook and one on YouTube. Okay. I was thinking if we did one, they would have enough to make kind of a oh, okay. larger make a project. Okay. Project. Gotcha. But if you wanted to pick two more and do one on Facebook and one on YouTube, I two matchy know. ones. Anyway, go ahead. So, um, yeah, John from Moda, he's our rep. He comes and sees us every, I don't know, two months or three months, something like that. And um, he brought us a gift, so I'm gifting it to you. Oh, that's perfect. So we'll do this one on Facebook. And Mary and Bright on YouTube. So you have enough squares here. There will be 84 squares. There's 42. Yeah. 42 and 42. YouTube, so, Facebook. So everybody click on the like button and comment. And then Chloe can get us our two Hi, winners. Um, so Carol asked, how long will the fabric sale run? We are, oh, good question. Yeah, there we go. Not through the end of time, just through Saturday. So it's close of business Saturday. Close of business Saturday. Well, some of them are online shoppers. Okay. The website's always open. I know. Close of business Saturday. Yep. People that come in the store, they actually have to wait for us. Me, to get me, here. me. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. You could go through the whole thing. Yeah. So, um, didn't tell you about the thread club. Hi, Carol. How are you? So, this is our thread club. It's twenty dollars to join. You get the box. Yep. We can see. You get a spool of white. And then you get 20% off of the thread that you buy to fill it up. Come and make it mine, Thread Club, and we will get one of these to you, too. Um, for all of the online viewers, you do have to call us for that. We don't have a specific code for the RFO Club. So you would just call us and we'll ship it to you. Okay. okay. I'm just glad they're making the boxes again. So. Yeah. I kind of thought it might have been a rumor because they have their, their big kits. So... Like they did one, it was... Debbie Norwick on Facebook and Peggy Bunch on YouTube. Norwick. At least I think that's what Chloe posted, if I didn't miss it. Read it wrong with my good eye. Peggy Bunch. <laughs> Debbie, I know Peggy has shopped with us before. Debbie, if you have not shopped with us before... Go to our website, quiltershq.com, and register for Make It So. That will give us your information, and we can get these off to you. Um, congratulations, Peggy and Debbie. Right, everybody check out the fabric sale and go browse yeah. and see what you want. See what you want. I do have a pattern. I might show it to you next week. We might do some kits with it, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Kits have okay. to be cut, and it takes a long time and a lot of planning to do, but I've got a couple of quilts that we might just add on to Aki Quilt. So if you're going to join us, that's like not this Thursday, but the Thursday after, third Thursday of the month. Or is that this Thursday? It's not this Thursday. No, no. So it's next Thursday. So we're beginning another, it's another quilt that I design. I'm quilting it now. I gotta say, I'm really happy with the way I'm, it's turning out. I'm quilting on the sit-down Bernina and really enjoying it. I, I did like five hours straight without like yeah. getting up to use the bathroom and then I stood <laughs> up and I'm like, oh, hmm. <laughs> gotta remember to do some yoga stuff in there. And that's us for tonight.
Well, Thank and then you. we've got that serger one we're going to redo, right? You're going to redo the scrappy with the yes. serger. So, so the scrappy really cool. quilt tutorial. And we didn't get to record it and post it to YouTube, yep. really. So we do have to get that one done and post it again. Yep. I, I've done it with both. I've done it with the sewing machine, and I've done it with the serger. Serger is better. Hands down. Forget doing it with the sewing machine. You'll, you'll love doing it with your serger. So. All righty, folks. Well, Thank everyone you. have a great week. And back from the holiday, it's a short week. So, yep. We are delivering long arms this week. We are delivering long arms. We're kind of out. So, enjoy your week and be safe out there. And that's it for us. Have a good night. Thanks, everyone.